Well, my name is Barry O'Connell. I'm age 64. I'm married to Jenny. Been married 40 years. I have two sons and one daughter. And um, I'm now retired due to the accident. After five years of being disabled due to a fall from a ladder in the garden, Barry has found a new zest for life, especially with the help of his assistance dog, Guy. I mean, it is very hard to adapt, and I was particularly thinking it was the end of the world for me at times, because even with my spirit, I was thinking, how do I get adapted to this? How do I, I cope with this? Now, I've got an assistance dog. He's called Guy, he's a flat coat retriever. He's been with me now 11 months. He loves emptying the washing machine. He goes out and when he's in the supermarket, he will pick tins up off the shelf. He'll pick anything up off the shelf for me. When we go out in the street, he does the traffic light buttons. He does lift buttons ready for me, presses them. And he, in general, is absolutely awesome for what we have to do. The most important thing is, is giving my wife back to me because that is a thing a lot of people don't realise. A wife becomes a carer, and with him, he's now taken over the duties. He's just worked 365, seven days a week, and all for what? A little bit of TLC, a little bit of fun, and lots of great enjoyment. Life isn't any different. We go away, uh, we go to places, we, we just don't let anything get in our way. It's just been, winter to summer having my dog and one of the things that i do now is a huge amount of disability campaigning so if i can do campaigning and make that world move it forward it's not my fault i broke the back but i would like still to be a human being i would like to think that i don't have to have the embarrassment of sounding like a little child may i please go there can i get on your bus so i enjoy campaigning you can either put yourself down, or you can just have a boxer's attitude. Look at it, you get a punch, think, is that the best you could throw? No, that didn't even hurt me. And that's what I do. I always look at it, that you've got a challenge. It's quite right to put your hand up and say, I'm not going to do that. Or you can think, I'm going to grab it by the throat and prove them utterly wrong. And that's what I say to everyone.